Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Today I'm gonna to be going over the secrets of Westec. Now this is the little small short quest that you do to get the super mutants to respawn over and over again at West Tech so you can use them to get tons of XP. I get a lot of questions on how to do this, so I just wanted to make a quick video for it. So this is West Tech if you're not familiar with it, which I would think most people are. I just wanted to show in case you didn't. It's the best place to rank up in the game, in my opinion. There's obviously other ways to rank up, but if you want to rank up the fastest, this is the best place to come to. And there are usually super mutants outside here. And um, you can't get them to respawn, but you can get the ones inside to respawn, and they will consistently be the highest level as well. So when you come into West Tech, you can go under your data and then under side missions, it's under miscellaneous and it says learn the secrets of West Tech. If you've come into West Tech, this should be in your Pip-Boy. And if it's not, then you've probably already created it or um, completed it. So once you come to this room over here, this is where it's going to want you to go up here. So I just wanted to show that you got to come upstairs here. It's a little bit confusing to find if you've never been here before. And just keep in mind, there's usually a super mutant up here with a minigun or a rocket launcher. So <laughs> like I said, keep that in mind and just be prepared when you come up here. And then you're just going to come to this term or, uh, terminal and it's going to lock or lo oh my God, and unlock the door downstairs here, which I'm going to show you. And then you're going to go into there and you're going to grab a hollow tape. Now this door that I'm going to show you right here now will not be unlocked unless you go up to that terminal first and interact with it and unlock the door. There will be a prompt for it. And then, like I said, you just come over here and grab the holo tape, and then we're going to go over here. And what this is, is the password to get into the restricted area of West Tech. And there's two ways to get into this area. There's one near the door when you first come in, and then there's this one here, which is right beside where you get the password for it. So we're going to go in this way. Now, just keep in mind in this area, this is where the most amount of super mutants are. There's like three or four dogs over here. Um, probably close to 10 super mutants over here and they will crowd you very quickly if you take the route that I'm going here you won't have a, too much of a problem of them ganging up on you but if you go in by the uh, door when you first come in then th they will be flooding at you a little bit quicker so just keep that in mind when you come over here and I'm just getting to that you might want to um, clear out the super mutants like I am here just to make it easier because there is two terminals that you're going to have to go to in here and that's pretty much it that's all you have to do and then you're going to be able to respawn the super mutants as many times as you like highly recommend clearing it out first before you go up to these terminals because they'll just keep bugging you they'll just keep you know you'll kill one and go onto the terminal and then another one will be hitting you you know what i mean so like you can see like i kill one or two and then two more come up the stairs here so definitely a good little route to come if you haven't done this before and you want to be able to respawn the uh, super mutants like i said coming in through the door closer to where you first come into west tech it can be a little bit over more overwhelming if you haven't done this before and just make sure the area is uh, cleared out and then you can see it's telling us to go straight ahead here to um, which is another terminal they're all red terminals so just keep that in mind if you're having trouble spotting them and I do interact with this one for a bit I thought I had to click something but I don't think you do I could be wrong I, I couldn't figure it out to be honest but if you just come over here and fiddle around with this terminal it will tell you to go to the next terminal as you can see i couldn't really figure it out here but i think it changed or it doesn't change at the top here but when you come out of the terminal you can see it's telling you to come over here now so i'm not sure what i did to advance that but i think you just have to interact with it and then this is the last terminal you're going to come up to and then boom the mission is done that's all you have to do and then you can come to this elevator right here, go downstairs, and I do recommend that you stay down there for, um, I've timed it and it seems to be around 37 seconds, but if you wanna be safe, go down there for 40 seconds. I'm not sure if it's any different on um, Xbox or PC. I'm on PlayStation and I've always waited 40 seconds and they always respawn upstairs for me. 
So no matter what you do when you come down here, you can kill the super mutants, you can literally wait in the elevator and crouch for 40 seconds and then go back up. Whatever you want to do. I do recommend you do clear it out down here if you are trying to gain XP and rank up. But just keep in mind there is a suicider and there is a good chance that he can kill you because it is kind of a confined area down here. So you might not be able to get away from him too easy like I had a problem here. But I just want to say too, like big deal, even if he does kill you, I know if you have buff or uh, buffs going, like XP buffs, it kind of sucks. But, you know, you'll just respawn back down here and this still counts as your time towards um, being down here. So, you know, like I said, whatever you do down here, just stay down here for 40 seconds. And then when you come back upstairs, all the super mutants will have respawned and they will be max level. Now, this is a newer character that I was working on for a beginner video. That's another reason why I wanted to make this video is because I'm going to link that in that beginner video. And yeah, that's why they're only level 46. They will be level 100 as long as you're over level 100 or 120 or so. Just keep in mind it will be max level unless it has been nuked, which is another story we'll get into in another time. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day.